Hi everyone. Welcome back to this channel. Today we will learn about how to create solution design document in your path. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with the creation of SDD document and the information or detailed introduction about SDD document in your path. For creating SDD document, it's very much easy when we are referring automation hub or your path automation hub. Hub dot your path dot com. Once in here, just put click on go it will navigate to this page where you can create your account i have already created one video on creating a complete detail with creation of automation hub and the detailed introduction about automation hub if you have not watched it you can watch it first then you will refer this video post it with this detail enter your login credential now you are inside the page continue to existing organizations here you can see several options are available Select on automation hub. So, before proceeding further with solution design document, let's understand what is solution design document. So, a solution design document is also known as solution design reference or business requirement document. As in essence, the blueprint of analytics implementations it defines criteria identified by stakeholder throughout all organizations. There are two components are included in solution design documents where ownership and location of the design documents is referred as well as design business requirements. So whenever we are working on several other projects a team who is responsible for creating STD document or solution design document they need to create from scratch but your path has provided other facility to create it by using their templates it's already ready made template is available inside the your path automation hub where users can select that and create it by their own so let's understand these two concepts first then we'll jump to creation of STD document in detail. So as I said ownership and location of the design document is mandatory where we are creating STD documents. Determine who in our organization will be responsible for maintaining the solution design document which, which means this rule can either be an individual or a team ensures that maintaining the solution design is preserved even though rule changes or organization restructures. It is a living document and must be properly maintained. Then determine where our solution documents will reside, which means there is no single best place for solution design document to reside but they typically live in a widely accessible internal locations just like on server and on secure cloud network which cannot be lost at any specific point. Then the second point which I said define business requirement where determine a key performance indicator figure out the most important data to be collected and take those questions and determine what tracking needs to be done in terms of growth then 
map dimensions and matrix into pages or spreadsheets. So whenever we are coming to the point performance indicators, which means what do you ultimately want visitors to do? Answer to these questions varies by industry and verticals. It can be multiple things. Examples include purchase, registrations, and claim. Second is figure out the most important data to be collected, which asks business questions what you want specific answers to. Answers to these questions will provide insight on how to improve our KPIs. Then take those questions and determine what your tracking needs are. Group them into dimensions and matrix. Dimensions are variables that contain text. Example would include internal search terms, product category, or name of the area or tester clicks. Mapping dimensions and matrix into pages or spreadsheet, it means this page or table ultimately becomes our solution design document. Some helpful comments or bullet points to be included as an implementation status, variable name, analytics variable map to logic and if you have any addition notes that also we can include it so let's understand how and where we can find it out solution design document inside the automation hub or uipath automation hub so as i said earlier if you have not watched my previous session about introduction of automation hub please watch that first so that you're able to understand each and everything in detail now, I am directly jumping to this invoice processing, which is already available. Select this page or this contain, which is already created. Go to documentations and here we go. You can see your templates for solution design document, which is already available. Download this template. Now you can see this template is downloaded in document format but post updating it gets also converted to a PDF format. So this is the template which is created by UiPath itself and provided for us which or where we can use it in our particular project. So let's see from page 1 to navigate to now you can see it's created by solution or you have part team that is solution design document you can also include your organization logo if you want or if you have any project logos assigned to your project we can uh, exclude or ex exclude your footer panel from here or Add your organization logo as well. Table of contain if you want to add it, you can add it from here, or if you want to keep as it is, you can. So purpose is definitely defined so that it will show up the what is the purpose of creating this document and automated process details, which all automated process we have done it. Runtime guide that is architectural structure of master project master project runtime details these all are table of contents which we can see it in main sections so here you can see the purpose of this document so basically purpose of this document show up the components of the master projects which will include overall output of the development containing one or multiple projects that together cover the scope of the robotic process automations Taking into account all the business restrictions, scheduling, peaks, future increases in volume, etc. So, this or the focus of the solution architect will be on robustness, scalability, efficiency, replicability, reusability of component. The information here is the tag primarily of the developer. So, apart of that purpose, you can include some more point from your perspective or if you are keeping same as it is then also there is a no issue
Now, what all automated process details are available? Like here, you can include your uh, project name, which is invoice processing. Then robot type, you can include whichever the robot you are using, like un unattended or attended robot. Uh, it's okay up to your orchestrator use if you have used your orchestrator definitely you can see yes and the url if you want to include you can include it here scalable if your environment is scalable you can uh, give the scalability and if not then you can provide it to no you have a version is which version of your part right now you are using so as of now i am using 2020 .10 dot three so as per your uh you have got studio version you can add it the version here now let's jump to runtime guide runtime guide will cover architectural structure of the master project where display the infraction between component packages robot orchestrated queues and running order in if you have any screenshots you can include it here Otherwise, you can write in small descriptions and the linkage of these two, uh, these packages or the tools. It's always recommended to include a screenshots which will be helpful. Master project runtime details you can uh, provide it if you are using production <laughs> environment detail. Definitely, you can provide the production environment detail prerequisites if you have any prerequisites like. If you have integrated with IDS and application like service now or any other application that credential will be required for adding the detail here. Input data, if you have any input data in CSV file or Excel file, you can include it. If you are having any expected output that the desired output you are looking for uh, by this award, then definitely you can add the expected output here how to start automating the process you can include the complete descriptions like process will be started from the orchestrator server or if you have any other fails or details you can include it now the several other components which is present here you can update it as per your requirements and then move to the project name here you can provide your complete project name like environment used for the development like location configuration detail these all details you can include it environment requisites like any if you have any specific ua os like linux system or if you are using windows definitely it will be fine for you if you are using lower version of windows definitely you need to include as a prerequisites repository for the package if you have used any repository or package you can mention it here configuration methods like if you have assets excel file or json file you can include it here list of reused component from the previous project if you have used anything or if you have integrated with your previous project definitely you can highlight that components to here List of new residual components you can also include like placeholder created in automation hub, something like that. If you have your project workflow details, you can include screenshots here or if you have any PDD document, that is also okay if you can attach it to here. PDD document is basically process design document. I will definitely cover one more session on PDD. Package details are available in this section. You can include the package details which all packages you are using. Right now, they have included the Gendes report, but if you are using Excel report, definitely you can uh, include the package details here. Architectural structure of the master project is also required when you are working on big organizations or including all the details about this. If you have any other details like any dependencies or any environment specific details, you can include 
here and see this template. Now your solution design document is ready to share with anyone else or with all of your organizations. It's all absolutely very easy to update the content on this template and in the glossary sections you can provide it in the jargon's value and their details if you have used anything. That's all how we'll create it. But if you are working on some other environments like any other specific automation project, it is required to create it uh, from the scratch. But this is very easy to update the content and after post updating, you can save this page and upload it to your post updating you can include the file provide the title name select the file type which type of file you are using and from here add descriptions and once you click on add file your uploaded or your updated solution design document will be available inside the document sections so this is how we will create solution design document or std document in uipath using uipath automation hub that's all about solution design document hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching